Hello Capricorn and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am an intuitive card reader and this will be your weekly segment. It will be a three card spread using my Egyptian tarot to draw out some messages that may be helpful for you for the upcoming week. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy this weekly content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to leave behind a like. Alternatively, you can subscribe to my channel to receive notifications for any upcoming exciting readings in the realm of astrology, horoscope, tarot, or themed readings. Having said that, Capricorn, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for my Cappies. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading may be insightful for you. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what's coming up. Three cards for the sign of Capricorn. And the first card you have here, which is the Moon card, followed by the Hermit and the last card you have is the Knight of Swords. Okay. Starting off with the Moon card here. This is a strong element of Cancerian energy. So for those of you that are dealing with a Cancer, this person is coming through quite prominently. There's a very strong attachment that's starting to be formed here, Capricorn. Whether you're aware of it or not, emotions are running high as indicated by the Moon card. You might find that emotions are quite heightened in the upcoming week. If you are dealing with a Cancer, a Virgo, or someone under the air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, things could be extremely intense here for you. What I'm seeing here is that distance will make the heart grow fonder. I'm seeing that for some of you, you're withdrawing, but then you're actually going to come back to this person. So I'm seeing some of you, you need space, or someone around you needs space. But what I can see with the moon card is, it's that it's going to prove how attached you are to this person, or how attached they are to you. The moon card rules the divine feminine, so this is a motherly energy. This is nurturing coming through. So whether this is from your own mother, a mother-in-law, a mother figure in your life, um, or perhaps your partner is going to be extra nurturing during that time of the moon energy. Now, the black and white symbolize a union here. I do believe there's a reconciliation that's taking place for some of you. I believe distance is needed because you'll, you'll finally realize how much this person means to you or how much you mean to them is what I'm seeing with the moon card. It can also rule visions, uh, dreams, relationships that are a little bit cloudy. Maybe there needs to be time to withdraw and think about your connection here because you've got the hermit, which is a dweller. It's oftentimes seen as someone that's very analytical, possibly even self-critical about a situation here. So emotions are running high. There's certainly an intensity here. But the moon card can indicate falling in love um, and not understanding, you know, you're, you're trying to wrap your head around the analytics of things here, Capricorn, but really, you just can't help how you feel with the with the moon card. Things are still a little bit of a mystery. I feel like there's a bit of mystery around you and this person for some reason. You know, the black and white, you want to come together. This is the yin and yang energy. So the two of you want to come together in some way, shape or form, but emotions are still mysterious or emotions, someone hasn't come to terms with their emotions yet. They haven't gotten the closure that they want. Um, and I think this is what some of you may be working on in the upcoming week, because you do have the Hermit card, which is seen as a Virgo, um, ruled by Mercury, as is the Gemini. So I'm not sure if there's a connection between you, Capricorn, and a Virgo, Gemini, or a Cancer here, or a Libra, Aquarius as well. But this is coming up here. Um, now, the Hermit energy is a time needing to withdraw. It's a time of singledom. It's a time of independence. It's a time to remove yourself from a situation because you need time to think about it. You need time to sort out how you feel. Um, it's all about emotions and the moon is the depths of consciousness. So what we have here is dis despair, a clouded judgment over how you feel or about how another person feels about you with the moon card energy. Self-critical behaviors are coming in here. The moon can rule anxiety, okay? When the moon is close, different phases of the moon can often indicate our emotions. So what I'm seeing here, there's a bit of a roller coaster coming up in regards to your emotions in the upcoming week. Self-critical energy is coming up here, self-sabotaging behavior potentially, or someone overthinking their emotions, or someone overthinking a situation and not allowing themselves to just feel and sense what's happening around them. Now, this, of course, could be you, Capricorn. It, the roles could be reversed. It could be someone significant around you, a child, a lover, an ex, a spouse, for example. But the hermit is you needing independence or this person needing independence, needing to step away from the situation for a time being to find out how you really feel. Um, I think a lot of you will be very, very surprised with how you feel because I'm seeing this time to dwell and analyze and think and restructure or assess Capricorn 
you're, you're suddenly it's almost like you're going to have this surge of energy because that's what the knight of swords is he does rule air energy but it's also finding clarity I think you're trying to seek clarity about how you feel for someone because the Knight of Swords jumps into something, okay? He's got a lot of determination. He's got a lot of focus. It's a message of um, courage, rage, mercenary, intensity. So I feel like it, as much as there's intensity in emotions, it's definitely have it, things are moving very, very quickly with the Knight of Swords. Don't rush, Capricorn. Do not rush this. And if there's someone around you that's rushing, you might need to draw back. You might need to withdraw from this person because maybe things are getting too hot, too heavy, too quickly. And this certain intensity is maybe making you feel a little bit unstable, okay? It's mysterious energy here. You're searching for the truth, okay? There's something you want to find out. Whether it's how you feel about someone, whether it's how someone feels about you, you're rushing to seek the truth. You're pressing forward. But sometimes the Knight of Swords isn't overly rational. And when he says things, because he rules words, this is, this is impetuous words. So words coming out before we think about them, before we instill that filter, Capricorn. This could be you, someone around you, someone's rushing. I think it is an air sign or someone extremely analytical that's trying to justify their emotions. Um, they're trying to justify themselves or they're trying to justify their emotions. But again, there's still a bit of mystery. I don't think you'll find much clarity in the upcoming week. I think you need to sort of analyze the situation here. Maybe withdraw if you need to or vice versa. This person may need to withdraw and only then will you find clarity. But I think you need to listen to your intuition because you absolutely have it, Capricorn. I know for the most part you're quite grounded and you like to analyze things. But in one sense, I think emotions are the most important way for you. Um, to, to read up on this situation, on this person or within yourself. So look, I will leave it at that Capricorn. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. All the best and we'll chat soon. Bye for now.